Let's get it. Get out and enjoy this day. Hopefully, getting some fresh air, some sunshine, and some exercise in. Now it's very windy here in Charlotte today, so I will be doing a very limited amount of speaking. But I did have a great thought I wanted to share. Hopefully, it won't be too windy while I'm trying to get this point across. But it is the inside voice the inside voice and I got this thought this morning well I went to bed with another thought which is the same thought but it was one about prayer and that's all the most I gave me I was available to receive a thought for today but all he gave me was prayer or pray I think it was more or less pray last night so like I said, that's all he gave me, so I went on to bed and woke up with the expectancy that he was going to wake me up maybe in the overnight in the morning and give me a, a deeper thought on this one word that he gave me, prayer or pray. So when he didn't, I went on and started my morning and my day with this idea of pray. And the importance of our prayers. But I really couldn't nail down a thought. I think because I was searching too hard within myself for a thought. But once I turned my, my mind over to the most high, he gave me an idea of the um of this movie I watched not too long ago. And it was about a father trying to raise his daughter by himself. And there's a whole lot of other issues that come to, to mind throughout this movie. The reason why he's raising his daughter by himself and the situation that they're in. But he told her at one time, always, always listen to your inside voice. And I thought at the time that sounded like a real good idea until further along in the movie, it started to become, to become some issues with that advice. And what the issues was, is she was hearing other voices or other ideas she was letting in. through some of the books she was reading, the magazines she was reading that he didn't know she was reading. So, she started asking wrong folks questions. So he, was, he wasn't prepared, he was somewhat thrown off by the questions she was asking and that he had to come with um, grown folks answers before he wanted to. But I'ma leave that at that with that thought and um, gonna get our squats in but the thought is the inside voice. And are we always to listen to the inside voice? Let's get these squats.
chin as I was saying on yesterday about our focus. That's what it's all about. But as I heard the moray reminding us today, or reminding me, we must study to show ourselves approved to this thought about focus. Because if we don't have the right words or the right thoughts to focus on, our focus is gonna be misguided by those voices in our heads. Whew. Yeah, I'm feeling them squats today. I was feeling that, that hill right there. That's the one we had to come over on our bike. It was whooping me last night. I had a tightness in my side. And of course my thighs were hurting. Well, actually they were screaming at me. No more. Go the other way tomorrow. <laughs> but no, we gotta keep pushing forward. Any new goals that set means a new mountain or a new hill we must climb. And that's just like in these thoughts that we're thinking after the most high, which he's causing us to think the thoughts after he think them. So how do we know when he's thinking certain thoughts? Back to the word, back to the text. So we can hear what he's thinking and then think them thoughts after he think them and then speak them thoughts after he speak them over and into our lives and our family members because that's what the, the, the minister or the moray was speaking on marriages and family members that's not in the truth yet and how we should be very careful to live the life in front of them before we try to speak what they should do because they're going to see more than what you're talking they're looking they're trying to see what kind of changes are going on in your life and how consistent you're going to be but let's get back to these squats and let this mind be in you that was in Yahushua HaMashiach. And I have to be very careful about my complaining and saying that I don't want a particular thing because it doesn't line up 
with my agenda. And when I was thinking about that, the most high reminded me through smell about these stinking dogwood trees. And boy, they stinking. However, whenever I look up and see their beauty, I'll be like, oh boy, what a beautiful tree. But then I have to remember that out of that stinkiness, that beauty was produced. So out of what we think is our death, and most of the time it is, us dying to our flesh and to our way, our agenda, then the most I can produce, or the most I can produce something very beautiful out of our lives. So we have to keep in mind what inside voice we're listening to and whose agenda is wrapped up in the voices whispering them sweet nothings. jump on this bike get these five plus miles in most high willing and then take it on to the house but first let me give a word of encouragement which is one closer to the thought the most high gave me today in the first place and that's one of prayer I want to say that we should ask the Most High to give us a distinguishing indicator to His voice and other voices. And I answer that question in the next thought by studying His Word. Ask Him to lead and guide us through His scripts. So we will show ourselves approved when it comes to distinguishing these voices that we hear in our heads or the inside voice. Let's get it. Here we're hearing thunder rumble, rumbles and they call for a thunderstorm right here at three o'clock. I've been waiting all day to get out, but I stuck out. We got our squats and I walk in. Now I'm praying that this storm will pass right on over. Cause it's only supposed to last like 30 minutes, I believe. Because at four o'clock, it was showing on the radar that it was cleared up. 
so I'm praying that this clearing in the sky will come on over. There's a clearing, but the clouds are moving that away. But we'll see how the most high is playing the rest of our year. Because the wind is picking up more steadily and it's cool or colder. But we're gonna keep pushing in the right direction. We're starting to see raindrops. And more thunder. But what I'm gonna do is pull on around to the front side of the park and start my ride if most high is willing. As you can see, the rain is starting to dissipate or to go away. We're seeing a little clearing coming on the horizon. I'm gonna stick out here about another 10 minutes because the radar is showing that we just received the brunt of the storm. So it, it was pouring down for a second then, thundering and lightning but we're gonna see what we can see. And I think I can maneuver through the puddles so I won't get too wet. But as long as it's not raining on me and raining on my camera, then I'm good. Cause I can always wash my clothes and my shoes and my bike. While we waiting, I did want to read over a script that comes from my thought of today. Mm, excuse me. And that is the inside voice. Mm. Pardon me, I will go to bourbon. I just drank a bottle of water. But the script is 1 Peter 5 and 8. And it says, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, walketh about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Be sober and vigilant in that soberness. And since we have a second, let's see what sober means. It's starting to pick up a bit. Calm, collective, to have good sense, good judgment, wisdom, and level-headed in times of stress. So that's a good meaning. To be level-headed in times of stress. Showing good judgment, good sense, calm and collected. Okay. I'm seeing it lighting up out here, but we're brightening up. But it's still raining too hard for me to get on the bike. Be patient. And it's all about being consistent. Also, be consistent in your prayer time with the Most High. See, that's going to help more than anything else. Distinguish them voices. That and studying His Word to know what He does say on the matter. And see, that's what you have to do figure out what he says about the situation. And that'll, that'll make it a whole lot easier for you when you hear voices in your head saying contrary or leading you into contrary action. Like that movie where that little girl was coming back to the daddy with thoughts that he didn't tell her 
and basically he was the only one around her. So he's like, where did you get these thoughts? Just like when the Most High asked um, Adam and Eve, who told you that you was naked? Basically saying, who, who, whose voices have you been listening to? The nine stops raining on this side. So the storm is going that way. And it's bright and pretty over there. Uh, we're going to take it to the highs. It's very wet out there. I ain't going to be out there riding with it that wet. Yeah, how do we call it? We have to stand by that decision because it's a reason that we're not getting out there and trying to ride. My main thought before was the thunder and lightning and how unsafe and unwise that is to be riding in a thunderstorm on a steel bike. I wouldn't hear, wouldn't hear the last note from my wife. But that's going to be my time. Stay up, keep pushing forward in the right direction. 